Hello everyone, welcome back and thank you for joining me for today's video. I'm sure that if you're subscribed to this channel, you know by now that I am super extra about my note taking. I don't know what it is about me or why I feel the need to make everything look aesthetic in my life. However, today we are going to be trying out a completely different style of note taking from what I'm used to. I've been hearing about this style of note taking called Cornell notes. I've heard a lot of people that use it and really like it. I've never tried it and I really don't know anything about it, so today I'm going to be testing it out and we'll see how it goes. A lot of you guys that follow me are either high school students or college students, so I hope that you find this video helpful. Before you do any studying or note taking, you've got to set the mood. Setting yourself up by a big window, a clean desk, and even light a candle if you're feeling extra bougie. I didn't know anything about Cornell note taking, so my first step was to do some research on the method and just learn how it works. In an attempt to avoid my usual tendencies to make my notes extra as heck, I'm only giving myself three tools to do the job. An 08 micron pen, a notebook, and a ruler. Yes, my notebook is very large, I enjoy making people think that I'm smarter because my paper is bigger than theirs. Also, I take a lot of notes. My traditional note-taking style is definitely a bit more artsy. I like to draw maps and diagrams and use lots of ribbon banners and stuff like that to snazz it up, mostly just to keep me engaged and busy so I don't get super bored during lectures. Today, I am taking notes from my anthropology class. This is an off-campus class, so all of the lecture videos are posted online and you can watch them at your own pace. So I'm going to take some notes on the lecture videos and then write the essay. From my research, I learned that the main differentiator for Cornell notes is the strict organization method that they use. Notes on the right, main concepts on the left with a straight line keeping them segregated from each other so they don't get too flirty. The top of the page leaves room for title information such as the date, name of the lecture, etc. At the bottom, I'm leaving space for a summary which we will write after going through all of the lecture videos and readings. I think that this style of notes would be great for someone who really likes a quick note-taking method that is easy to review. Having the terms or keywords on the left makes it easy to skim and find notes in a particular section. The summary at the bottom forces you to think back to the beginning of the lecture and how you can tie that information in with all of the notes that you took. It would also definitely allow for a consistency across all of your note spreads if that's something you're into. Some people like it when they can flip through their notebooks and every page has the same format. Overall, while the process of taking notes this way was faster, I don't know if I will be implementing this technique for future lecture notes of mine. This layout really doesn't leave room for sketching in little drawings or maps, and it wasn't nearly as enjoyable to create these notes as my usual method. However, I do think that there are some valuable aspects of Cornell notes that I can bring into and combine with my current style to make them even better. I'm always looking for new ways to improve and change my note-taking habits because I know that I'm not perfect. Anyways, thank you for tuning in. I hope this was helpful, and if you want information on where I got my giant notebooks so you can have excessively big paper too, you can find it down in the description box. See you guys in the next video. Bye!